Hey guys, hope everyone is safe and well. Today's tutorial is all about creating a Nuke tracker in Nuke and exporting that into Silot. We have the default tracker here. I have some values here. I am deleting it. Okay, here we have the default tracker node. I am going to track this area. So first of all, I am setting the work range as 50 frames because the footage is too long. I have I am I am keeping it as 50 frames for uh, tracking easily. So here we have the footage. I am going to do track this wall okay so here we have a lot of contrast points i am selecting this option and wherever we need to place a tracker we can click on that area okay come back to this area yeah we can see the track option here just go and click wherever you want to place the tracker and okay i am going to place one more tracker okay in this area like this this is the area where i'm placing the fourth tracker now we have four tracker here i'm gonna check all these options okay maybe this is a myth to check all these options but when you are applying the tracking data always make sure you check all these options okay here we have some other properties of tracking as well you can explore all these properties before tracking some cases i mean altering these properties will help you to get a decent track here we have the warp option also so come back to the tracker node and i'm gonna track this uh, four tracks okay make sure everything is done okay just click on this track option before that i am just unchecking this and click on this track option so let's see how the track is coming it's taking bit time yep it's almost done okay so it's like i'm just okay so what it happened is like it took the entire range for tracking i don't want to track entire range you can come back to here not the okay here and you can uh, just type in the work range you want to track so i'm just uh, i have tracked the footage so uh, you can keep that in mind while you track a work range so here we have the track i mean the track is little i mean it's perfect so come back to this option click on the stabilize option to check the track how it is always don't forget to set the keyframe uh, and check the track now so okay we want this tracker okay the footage is stabilized and our tracking data is set on this footage so we have now four track points which i want to take that track points into silhouette for basically everyone do roto and paint in silhouette so i want this tracking points exported from nuke to silhouette here we have the setup for roto here i'm going to export those tracking data uh, from nuke to silhouette so come back select that tracker node come back here export com node so export to a path where we are gonna save the tracking file later gonna import that into uh, silhouette from there so i'm just copying this path and pasting it here okay so inside that i'm just typing a name here like track 01 okay save now i have saved this tracker node and as a com node and now come back to silhouette click on the roto properties select the tracker option here we have the tracker options in tracker we can see we can see like point tracker mocha tracker planner tracker so in point tracker there is an option like import in mocha tracker it will be like disabled in point tracker just click on this import option now just load the track which we exported from nuke click on that open okay the track is been imported has been imported into silhouette now you can use this track for any kind of work like a roto warping morphing paint anything inside silhouette just apply on that in a layer and done so it's like click on this option for stabilizing and checking so here we have the option for stabilize okay i have kept the entire range i'm just keeping it as 50 frames and let's see how okay now the tracking is done i'm i mean the track which is there in nuke has been exported and imported in silhouette now so i'm using the latest version of silhouette but this method will not work in the older versions of silhouette so i will show you an, a new method for exporting tracks from nuke to older versions of silhouette so come back to this area like click on i click i on keyboard we can see the class name is tracker 4 so this is the latest tracker node introduced in nuke so i'm just showing you like in a fresh tracker node click on i in the keyboard we can see the class as tracker 4 we want the different uh, class tracker so just 
click on x in the keyboard and you can get the uh, tcl option click on i mean type in tracker 3 now we have got like the older tracker tracker node present in nuke so here we can see the difference of tracker i mean both the tracker node so here we have the limitations of four trackers and uh, you can check these options if you want uh, th that doesn't matter because you are applying tracking uh, data like translate rotate scale everything in sealout so just drag those keyframe animations from uh, those four point trackers into this four point uh, into these trackers so i'm just dragging i mean uh, hold on shift and drag those uh, keyframes into this one so we have the older version of tracker inside nuke now i'm going to export that tracker into sealout just do the same process export com node tracker 3 okay so always make sure you are exporting the tracker 3 class tracker 3 come back to sealout okay just go into the point tracker inside that import now importing tracker 3 open so hooray it's done so in older versions of sealout you can choose this method to export the tracking data from nuke to silhouette so this will be handy for doing roto as well as pain if you have a well set track in nuke so just make sure uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel for further updates thank you guys